Hi everyone and welcome to today's lesson. We are in week eight of term three. Now the program structure for this week is that on Monday, so today, we will have our weekend recount writing. On Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, we will have our informative text writing. And then on Friday, you will have your chance to catch up on home learning. So today is Monday and we will be working on our weekend recount writing. So our learning intention today is that we are learning to write a recount. A recount tells or informs the reader about a personal experience. Now remember, a personal experience is something that has happened to you in real life. Our success criteria is that I can write one or more ideas about my weekend. I can use some words like first, then, after, next and finally. And I can write some details like when, who, where and what. So now I'm going to show you a video and it is of some things that you might like to do and hopefully um, it will get you thinking of things that you either like to do or things that you did do on the weekend. So let's take a look. What do you like to do? I like dancing. But I don't like dancing with a bear I like swimming But I don't like swimming in the air I like drawing But I don't like drawing with a spoon I like cooking But I don't like cooking on the moon I like riding a bike but I don't like riding a shark I like petting a soft furry dog But I don't like petting an aardvark I like running But I don't like running with a bee I like painting But I don't like painting in a tree I like reading but I don't like reading upside down I like skiing But I don't like skiing on a merry-go-round I like playing hide-and-seek But I don't like playing hide-and-sleep I like singing with all my friends But I don't like singing with the sheep Bah! What do you like? So I hope that video gave you some thought about what do you like to do and did you do any of those things on the weekend? I know a few of those ideas were a little bit silly. Okay, so what you need to do is tell us about one event and you need to include your when, your who, your where and your what. Now, this is a weekend recount and this is a woggle. Now, remember, a woggle is what a good one looks like. So, let's take a look. On Saturday afternoon, I played hide and seek with my brother. First, I hid under the bed. Then, my brother counted to ten and came to find me. After that, it was my turn to find him. It was a really fun game. So let's go through our who, what, when and where and also our time connectives. And remember they are your first, your then and your after that and finally. So let's take a look now on Saturday afternoon. So that is our when. When was it? It was on Saturday afternoon. I played hide and seek with my brother. What did I do? 
I played hide and seek with my brother. So that is my what. My who is my brother. Because who were you playing hide and go seek with? It was my brother. So I'm going to underline that one in green. Okay, so on Saturday afternoon, I played hide and seek with my brother. We have our when, we have our what, we have our who, but there's no where at the moment in that first sentence. However, if we keep reading on, we might be able to find it. So let's keep going. First, there's a time connective. First, I hid under the bed. Where was I? I was under the bed. So I'm going to do that one in blue. Then, so I have another time connective. Then, my brother counted to 10 and came to find me. After that, it was my turn to find him. It was a really fun game. So again, we have after that which is a time connective. So let's read it just one more time all together. And before we do that, you can see that there's lots of what's. I'm really telling you all the things that I did. And I've got three things that I did. I hid under the bed and then my brother um, counted to 10 and he came and found me. And then it was my turn to find him. And I also summed it up in that last sentence saying it was a really fun game. Okay, so let's read it now. On Saturday afternoon, I played hide and seek with my brother. First, I hid under the bed. Then, my brother counted to 10 and came to find me. After that, it was my turn to find him. It was a really fun game. Okay, well done everyone. Okay, so now we've looked at what a good one looks like. Now I'm going to share with you my recount. So here we go. On Saturday morning, I went for a walk. First, I walked to Paddington Markets. Then, I bought a delicious lamington. And let me just say, boys and girls, it really was yummy. Finally, I walked home. It was a beautiful day. And if you can remember, boys and girls, last weekend, the sun was shining and it was just wonderful. So here it is all together. And as I read it this time, I will underline our who, our what, our when and our where's. So on Saturday morning, when was it? It was on Saturday morning. I went for a walk. Now, my who in this is just me because I was by myself. So who? was I, and what did I do? I went for a walk. Now first, there's a time connective. First, I walked to Paddington Markets. So what did I do? I walked, and where did I go? I went to Paddington Markets. Then, so here's a time connective. Then I bought a delicious lamington. So what did I do? I bought a delicious lamington. Finally, my last time connective, finally, I walked home. What did I do? I walked home and it was a beautiful day. Okay, so now it's your turn to have a go and this is our think, pair, share and normally at school you might talk to your partner but since you're at home you can talk to a family member. Now let's go through some words you can use. And you can use these words at the start of your sentence. So it could be first, next, then, after that, and finally. Now, once you have spoken to a family member, you can now write your recount. And you can do this on a piece of paper or type it straight into your week eight completed work document. Now what I've done here is written some sentence starters that you may like to use. Now the first one is on the weekend, but you might like to change that and say, and be more specific and say on Saturday or on Saturday afternoon, on Saturday morning, 
on Sunday, Sunday night. It's completely up to you. And then I've got some three time connective words to start your other sentences. We have first, then, and finally. Okay, boys and girls, Mrs. James and I can't wait to read about your weekend. Now let's quickly reflect on our lesson. Now our learning intention was that we are learning to write a recount and a recount tells or informs the reader about a personal experience. Now our success criteria is that I can write one or more ideas about my weekend. So that would be something like what I wrote. And what I wrote is that I went for a walk and I also bought a lamington and things like that. So there's already two ideas. So I'm going to give myself a tick. I can use words like first, then, after, next and finally. So they are our time connective words. And there we know that we did that together. So I'm going to tick myself. And then my last one is I can write some details like when, who, where and what and they are our four W's and remember they provide the reader with lots of detail and it makes it interesting for the reader when they're reading your recount to have all of those extra details in there. So I'm going to give ourselves a tick. Okay boys and girls we can't wait to see what you have written. Have a great day. Bye.